Hi, and welcome to this week's Tuesday Tech Tip. I'm Bradley Oswald, Applications Engineer, and today I'm going to show you the spare tool selection option on the Pro 6 Control. Within a machining process, it is inevitable that with each use, tool life will be affected, eventually making that tool unusable. As a way to save time changing tools in the middle of a process, there is an option within the machine called Spare Tool Selection, which can be extremely useful when dealing with replacement tools. To set up the spare tool selection function, first we need to do some parameter changes. Listed are a few of the parameter changes I've done for this demo, and note there are many more that affect the spare tool selection option. Once you have the parameter changes, you also need to go to the function screen and ensure the tool life mode is on, as well as the spare tool selection mode is on. In addition, there are programming changes that will need to be made. An M code, M919, will need to be added at the end of each tool sequence to help track the tool life. So once you have your parameters changed and you've added your M919 to your machining program, let's take a look at the tool data page and see how the spare tool selection option is set up there. As you can see here, I have two tools. They are both face mills. And one is named tool number one, so that's the tool number that I will call in the program. As you can see, both tools have an FTN or functional tool number of one as well. However, the spare tool has a tool number of zero. If we scroll down, we can see that I have the life count enabled and I have a warning set to two uses of the tool and an alarm set to three uses of the tool. Once this tool achieves the alarm count, it'll then bring in the spare tool. And then the spare tool will continue to run until it hits its numbers for warning and alarm. Once it reaches the alarm, it will then look for other functional tools that have the same FTN. It will then automatically tool change that tool into the machine and continue to use that tool until it expires. So we're running this program here and you'll be able to see the tool life actual amount start counting up with each use. So it's at two. You can see it's giving me a warning status. And at three, it's at the alarm status. It's now changing in the spare tool. It's automatically changed the PTN number to the spare tool. And now it's going to use the spare tool in your process until it also alarms out. So the benefit of this is to be able to keep your machine in cycle while you recondition, replace your other tools. Thanks for joining us on this Tuesday's Tech Tip. We hope you found it useful. And if you can think of anything you would like to see in future Tech Tips, please let us know.